what's up everyone devon to here so i'm back with another video so uh we were looking at the update uh, underscore script uh branch we made the changes we committed them in the previous video now according to the task we are supposed to uh, switch to switch back to the master branch so we will just do a git branch as you can see on the screen with git branch lists all the branches that are uh there on that there on that directory so when you do a git branch you list and it will show you that the asterisk and is at the update underscore script underscore script and as update underscore script is green so that means that's the current branch that you're on but you want to switch back to the master branch so you just do git checkout master to give you the output that switch to the master branch so once you have done that there are a couple of things a couple of uh, file operations that um the task required you to do so uh you're supposed to make changes to the lx file i used uh, i used vi because i was able to uh make the changes uh just in the just in the command line so that's how i went about it i made the changes to the vi file then um then moving one directory back is cd space then dot dot so that makes you move one directory back then another important thing that i saw was uh according to the task they showed you they told you that they told us that you're supposed to remove the directory js so according to the task that um i saw from shell uh, i also saw it from um emacs and vi like when you want to especially shell because shell is the first uh, uh the first task the first project that we underwent um there was this command for removing a directory so it was rmdir so rmdir only works for directories that are empty if you have an empty directory you want to delete that's when you use rmdir but for a directory that already has uh data inside uh it's it's a different command not that different but it's different so when i did an rmdir as you can see on the screen uh it said rmdir failed to remove js directory is not empty so that communicated to me that that command equally easy so i went, to, went and looked at the commands list and i saw that the command that you can use to uh, remove the js file which had uh, data inside which had files inside so it's rm space then dash r if you do that to remove the directory uh, using the command uh, and using that command to remove it so when you run a git status it will show you that uh the js directory files were deleted and you motive and modified the alx um alx file so which is inside bash so when you do that and you do like uh, a git add it will show you that you have already added uh, uh those you are add you are preparing them to be uploaded then uh, the next follow-up is following it up with a commit message and we look at that in the next video but the most important part is uh, how to delete a directory which has content inside so it's an it's rm dash r as you can see on the screen i have um i have uh, written it or oh, uh, excuse me apologies for that typo uh, <laughs> in the directory uh, so yeah i mean uh, that's how you remove a directory which has uh, content inside it's actually pretty important for you to know that because it will assist in um to assist in moving forward in the future if you want to perform that operation so remember just a recap we switched the we switched the main master branch which is the main branch it's the stock of the project then uh, we made the changes to vi the do no, not not vi the alx file using vi editor then uh we move we know we checked on how we can move one directory back which is cd dot space then dot dot to move a directory for just say cd then the directory name but to move a directory back it's cd then dot dot then to remove uh, a directory which has which already has file and content inside we just say rm uh, space then dash r then the then space then the directory name to remove that uh, directory so uh, yeah um, happy coding i'm gonna see you guys in the next one